Welcome to USA Global TV and Radio, where our mission is to provide education, entertainment, hope, and inspiration. USA Global TV and Radio connects you with experts and audiences all around the world every single day to help you succeed in business and to live a richer life. Visit us at usaglobaltv.com to learn about career and life-changing training and mentoring programs like The Listening Mentor. Subscribe to our newsletter to stay informed about our special programs and offers. Discover how you can become a guest on one of our shows or a host or producer of a USA Global TV and radio show of your very own. That's USA Global TV and radio, where the doctor is always in. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to the Wild at Heart Show, real, authentic, and uncut. This is the show for men, by men, about men here on USA Global TV and Radio. Welcome, welcome. My name is Roland. I am the, the host of the show, the moderator, and actually the, the creator of the show. And the background is, besides my main business, since almost three decades, I do coaching, consulting, big international companies worldwide with my team. I dedicated my life to men's work and the environment. So I started a few years ago with Sparing for Men, where men share in a in a safe environment, uh, whatever they want to share, that's what you do on a regular basis online. And yeah, a little about a year ago, we started to bring this also on USA Global TV and Radio every Wednesday, same time, same procedure, wild at heart. So and I'm not alone. Um, we always have a, um, our, a bunch of men, as I said, our panelists with different backgrounds, uh, different uh, cultures, different countries, different ages, where we always discuss topics that are quite interesting. And if you missed one of the shows, uh, or if you want to share the recordings of all the previous shows, please go to our website. It's bonfiredogs.com. On bonfiredogs.com, you will find the biographies and the contact details of the panelists of the of the core team but also of course all the episodes that are recorded so if you missed one you can always go back or if you you love this show you want to share it with other people here you find all the recordings but let's get starting the topic for the day i'm not quite excited about this it's more a funny topic but also can be very deep and serious the topic for the day is what do men do when women decide to leave the planet Interesting question, yeah. And I'm very happy that I share this with uh, two gentlemen uh, today because some of the panelists are out are uh, for for this show for a different reason. So uh, we send a lot of prayers and love to Big Scott, who is in hospital. Also, a quick recovery to Marcine and also for Red, who has another appointment. But we have an amazing team. And first up with our core team and my dear friend from Germany, welcome on the show again, Christian. Hi, Roland. How's it going? I'm fine, oh, man. I'm fine. Great to see you again. I always love, um, can't wait to see you again on Wednesday and, 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 and meet the guys and the boys and, and have a discussion. Great to have you back on the show. How are you doing? All good? Thanks. Yeah, all good. And um, this topic, it really it really keeps working in my mind since the day you mentioned it. Because it, it, it really started something inside of me. I'm, I'm really looking forward for this show. Um, and I think, funny would not be the word that I would use uh, to describe how I would feel when the women decide to leave our planet. So I'm really looking forward. Um, let's go say hi to our next uh, panelist. Yeah, before we bring him on, uh, but I, I agree with you. it's actually the truth. You know, sometimes we are just making jokes with men, but when it's reality, it's like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm very, very interesting what, what your comments are. But let's bring our, our guest man for the day. We actually, we... An hour ago, we had an amazing show together on the Mallorca Connection. We talked about a new earth. It was really interesting. If you missed the show, uh, go on YouTube, USA, USA Global TV and Radio, the Mallorca show, and you will find the show. It was a fantastic interview, a fantastic drive that is building up, a fantastic network. And he said, hey, I'm on the show. Thanks. He's joining us from Brazil. Welcome, Alex. Thank you. Very hey, excited to be part you. of this conversation. Hi, Alex. <laughs> cool. Thanks, 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 thanks for your flexibility and welcome to the Wild at Heart show. 
Thank you very much. Okay. So the topic is what do men do? What we are doing when men, when women decide to leave the planet? <laughs> and, and, and as we said in the intro, Chris, I said it's a funny topic, but it's funny as long as it's not becomes reality. <laughs> Christian, what are your thoughts? You said you it was going on in your head since we, we launched this topic last week. <laughs> yes. Um, so the first thing that happened was like, okay, I read this. What do men do when women decide to leave the planet? And it left me completely speechless at first. I, I really didn't know what to feel. And neither did I know what to think. It was like flatline. I didn't feel, I didn't think. It was like, okay, whoa. I never, I never regarded this um, as, a, as a possibility. So, so it's really a lot of stuff going on inside of here, inside of here um you during the the days right now i'm i'm working with this topic so the first the first reaction was like shock and um then after that as my system calmed down again it started like okay let's get this from uh from a quite maleish look like okay what would happen to the system that was the first question that came up to me so what if like I mean, 50 or more than 50 percent of uh, of human mankind is just gone. So with the existing system. So I think this would be collapsing. Of course, it would. Um, so that was that was the way I was I was trying to 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 work with this with this absolutely new situation. Like there's like 50 percent people missing, and. Um, so this was like, I think it was like, like surviving mode that my brain was going to, uh, like, how, how can I, at first, like, how can we as men save our, um, uh, save our lives? In fact, well, this, this, um, um, how do you call it? A Fortpflanzo? You, you know it in, in German? Can you help me, Roland? A frost fluster. Uh, I don't know what it is in English. Like, um, you know it, Eric? Uh, reproducing reproducing ourselves like okay this is this is the point when we are going to like fade away like humanity because men alone okay we can't reproduce so that was something that came to my mind okay how 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 are we gonna, we we're going to handle this this topic like are we going to survive as as only men so we can't we can do it like um becoming like these seahorses i think they can change their sex so we can yeah. do that <laughs> so, so this was the way I approached. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, sorry, I didn't want to shock you. Maybe you guys have to tell you why I came up with this topic. You know, I'm traveling around Europe with my motorhome, and actually, my my girlfriend she was with me until mid of August, and since then, she's six months. I'm traveling alone, so she left the motorhome. You know, she left the planet. <laughs> but it's fine. My motorhome, and I was thinking about and. And I was thinking about, you know, why and what's going on with me and why she's doing. Is it my fault? Should I follow her? What should I do? Stay here? Or should I convince her to stay long time? And then I come up with this on a, on a, on a much, on a macrocosmic uh, center. Okay. What is when, when, when women decide to leave? Is it, what should we do? Should we first think about, is it our fault? Why should they're leaving? It's because of us. Should we hold them back? Or maybe we should get in contact with them. Maybe we follow them. Maybe they find a better place. So different stuff came, different top stuff came to through my through my head absolutely and i was also shocked a little bit of course alex how about you man i uh, i must say since the topic was introduced to me my mind has been breaking over it um part of me wants to make uh, bad uh, cafe jokes about women being able to organize all of that uh, another part of me feels like, yeah, it's clearly immediately the end. Um, especially on my journey with Guy and it, really looking into socioeconomic system, uh, how we as humanity live on the planet and the role of the masculine energy, feminine energy. I've been starting to see how much women do, how much weight they carry, how much... Um, of the gaps they fill without the men noticing because they're too busy doing all kinds of other things. Uh, yeah, obviously it would be a disaster. 
Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, guys, we, we, I know, I know all of you. We, 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 we free, we all straight. So, uh, I would love to have somebody. Maybe we have somebody in the audience who, who, who is gay. You know, maybe he, he sees it absolutely different. The topic said, "Well, it's okay, it's cool." So, please, uh, please, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when you're watching us, listening to us, send us your comments. Uh, we are more than open to discuss with you. <laughs> absolutely, Christian. After the shock. When the shock was gone, <laughs> what was your conclusion? <laughs> well, yes, do you have any strategy in your head? You know, the men were very solution focused. As 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 my approach was, it was uh, quite solution focused. At first, I wanted to make sure, okay, I hashtag we as men we survive. So that was the first. Okay, we gotta survive. First thing, and then I absolutely agree with Alexander. Um, the next thought that came to my mind was, we as men. We will, um, there's, there is this, this, um, I don't know, it's a, is it a quote or something like, you never know a good thing until you lose it. So that would happen. Like if the, if the women leave, we would really, uh, learn on a very, very hard way what they are carrying, as you said, Alexander, uh, what they do, how much, how much, um, flow and female energy they bring into our systems, how much we can and do learn from them and um, what unique qualities they have that we cannot um, we can't provide as men but I think this would be a thing of like later um, at first I think we men would try to to somehow fix the problem like as you said Roland solution solving we would we would try to hold up the system um, take care of ourselves I think sex would be a topic quite soon because we, we men, we, we are struggling with that. And if there is no, well, <laughs> you, you, you're smiling, Alex, but I think that would be the way. Like, you know, first we, we, we try to um, fix our, our uh, surviving. And next thing would be, okay, how can we, how can we reproduce? How can we um, hold up uh, mankind somehow? So as they're gone, we have to find a way. I mean, there is... Um, Maybe those those frozen, uh, I don't know if it's the right the right term frozen eggs like the women have in their in their. Oh, I don't know the the English words for that. Yeah, yeah, you 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 frozen eggs and yeah, like, like a frozen, frozen sperm, you frozen eggs and then we can. Yeah. Yeah. We can do it like um, outside, um, like like external growing kids stuff like that. Oh, that makes me shiver really only thinking about that. So. And then later we will, I think we will um, go on higher energy and spiritual states thinking and feeling like what kind of um, outcome there would be or impact on us uh, when women leave. So mm. on on all the other life topics that, that show up. Uh, gentlemen. Uh, you both, both guys, you all read, you all read in the worst case scenario that they leave. But the topic is, what do we do when they decide to leave? They're still here. There's such a decision. <laughs> They're not left. So, what can we do? Do we want them to stay? And what can we do? <laughs> well, if I just short jump in, the women I know, if they decide something, they fucking do it. End of story. <laughs> You know, I'm a person I never give up. I never give up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alex, what do you say? What's your opinion? <laughs> <laughs> I can already picture Roland begging them to stay, like dragging on their feet. <laughs> but, 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 what, what can we do better? What can we do differently? I guess it, the topic in my head is they're living. It, there's a reason why they're living, okay? So the it, reason it's for me, the question, what can we do better for let, us and let's, them? Let's start to uh, uh, listen, <laughs> ask them questions, and then listen, and then really try to understand. I think that is already revolutionary in the world. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Good point. Good point. Yeah. Well, I, okay, before I, you act, asking a question and fully listening. Yeah, before you act. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> That's revolutionary for most men. <laughs> well, I think um, women are 
maybe they are even better in in that kind of um, decision making than men. Um, I've seen women enduring really tough times for a very, very long period of time. And um, then there is this point they decide. And then there is no way back because they're making up their minds and much more, they're making up their souls and their heart. And if a decision comes from there, I doubt that there really is a way back. You have to be, I, I don't know, you have to be like really, really good arguments and you have to touch their hearts again. Um that, that they will change their minds. So I think if the decision is made, it doesn't look good for us. Then... I mean, I, I, I'm with you, Christian. I know it from a relationship, you know. Uh, uh, most women, that is, they, 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 they bury it a really long time, you know, and then they do a decision and they are out of the relationship much longer. The process going on, so they decide already. The man still doesn't have any idea. You know, this is joke when two guys meet and said, "How is your marriage?" And said, "Well, she's still living with me." So most men don't realize that she's in a process of of just getting out. Yeah, and when and, and you're absolutely right. And when she's through this process, she's gone. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'm I'm with you. But let's let's think positive. So they 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 they, they made a decision. Uh, Hopefully they communicate us. To, they communicate with us. They let us know before they say goodbye. Not we're gonna wake up in the morning and say, "Oh, <laughs> uh, my single status is I I sleep diagonal in my bed." So <laughs> now, uh, let's say they confront us with a decision. What can we do? Uh, Alex said, asking question, listening. Okay, and then. It pretty much depends on uh, on what they're sharing, you know. Why? As uh, as uh, oldest generation millennial, I ask why everywhere. Why do you decide to go? And um, why would you maybe kind of be open to reverse that decision? What would you need to see in order to stay? I can make a lot of guesses of uh, of what the answers will sound like. But uh, I think it really starts uh, with us men realizing that something needs to change and not in the outside world, not stuff we can change by again making plans and strategies and action. No, inside of us. Um, much of it has to do with the ability to bring space uh, yeah. and give them space. There's so much wisdom and power inside uh, the feminine that just never got hurt because the men have just been busy and stressed and running around for the past centuries, uh, millennia probably. I guess you said something very important is asking question and it's really revolutionary. It's not funny. It's really revolutionary asking question and listening because many men are, well, they're very solution driven, but most of the time we don't talk much. We, we, we make assumptions. We make assumptions. Yeah. And, and we just make assumption and then we go for it. And, and here's the same assumption. Uh, first of all, we don't know why they're leaving. It's, it's because of us. We, they, they're fed up with us, with, with the man. Yeah. With the man's world, yeah, or maybe it's a different reason. Say, hey, we find a better place to live because I don't know, it looks better, whatever it is. So it, it might not be our fault. It's just an assumption. So we have different, different, different options. Exactly. Yes. Well, we are just starting the conversation. Well, this is a huge topic, so it's Absolutely. great. There's a Absolutely. lot of interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, one question, guys. When when the reason is us, it's us men, and they want us to change in the way that we are not willing to change. Are we ready to compromise and say no, bye bye, or say of oh, of oh, we have to change totally? We don't love it, we don't like it, but yeah, you you are ready for any price to to keep them back or say no. <laughs> Well, there's surely an imposition of power there. So I'm very curious what demands they might be coming with. <laughs> I think I think this is in a in a population of then like five is a billion, five billion people that are left. Um, I think there will be men crawling, like, oh don't go, I'll do anything you want, stuff like that. There'll be others like standing in pride and say, Yeah, okay, you want to leave, go. 
So I don't know. I think they will be all. Yeah, but the question is how how much are you ready to compromise? Are you ready to say Bromith thinks okay, I do this and this and you said, Oh fuck this then my life is fucked off too, or just to keep them or Well, it's how, a, how much are you willing to sell your soul, your man's soul, <laughs> your masculinity? Yeah, Chris, you know, tell us. <laughs> nope. Well, this is this is a hypothetic, um, of course, <laughs> topic like that. So, yes. um, I mean, the the question you're really asking is, are you willing to accept that this is the end of mankind? Because if I keep my mind as straight as I can be, like, um, if you ask me to, to, um, um, to, to, um, I'm lacking the word, verraten, betray, betray, yes, yeah, thank you, betray. to betray myself in order to, to somehow survive, um, this is, this is really cruel, this is like, this, this feels really cruel, um, and I think no, no woman with a heart would ask that question because because they don't want us to to betray ourselves this is maybe something that um women do have in a kind of inner um knowing about that they don't want us to lie to ourselves they don't want it. they want us pure this is my um this is the way i experienced this it, yeah. They want us to be men, and they want us to be pure, and they want us to be open and true to ourselves. So I think a woman with an open heart would never ask for um, something that would like bend me in a way that it starts to break me. You never know. But for me, the question is also, you know, uh, also with this background, what's going on the last three years, the question is, as a man, are we willing to give up everything, our freedom, everything, our belief system, our value, just to keep it going? Or to say, okay, no, no price, then mankind is dying. That's the question. How far are we going? Well, this is a 50-50. Because, 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 you know, this, the, sorry, Christian, you know, once you give the little finger, the end, the whole hand is a gum. So you know what, what I mean? how far are you going to give up <laughs> this is this is also a question of trust good yeah do you look at this with a mindset of scarcity or a mindset of abundance i expect beautiful win-wins to come out of it it's just exactly. a search for more alignment That's exactly. how I interpret it. absolutely because we strongly believe that the women have a good intention and, and, and that's, the, that's one thing, actually, that with what we discussed in the show before, Alex, it's about how is your mind, you know, you're always complaining or you're negative or you're in a positive mind. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So let's, let's, let's assume that the women have a positive intention to make it, make it better. Yeah. To make it better. Okay. So we are willing to compromise and say, okay, we have to learn. We have to step down from our throne or whatever we're going to call it from our toxic masculinity and learn and, and, and listen to them and learn from them and then also act well, some men are already starting to listen but not acting yeah. yeah this can this is like um in a in a larger scale something that happens to um to uh, relationships so if the women makes the the last the close call like okay man listen i'm leaving this is when when a man sometimes has the chance to really crack open his heart, which can feel like losing a world, like losing everything. And this is the, way, the, the moment he really starts to connect with himself and with this female energy, with his wife or his girlfriend, I don't know, and starts to learn. And then he can, he can take in the nourishing power of a woman and, and start to grow. And at first, it might feel like the end of everything for a man, because he loses all his strategies, he loses all his um, his patterns of 
behavior, his his understanding of love will will change dramatically. And that might happen to us too, then, as as men, when we are when we are really facing, okay, guys, this is it. Yeah, absolutely. And we have to take it serious because you know some some men are really they they promise everything, <laughs> they promise everything, but it but uh, what they cannot realize just to keep it, and then the, the same shit starts again. You know, so the message to men is really take it serious. Really, what what Christian said to you, Alex. Go deep in your side, yeah. Listen to yourself, work on yourself, and don't promise things you never are willing to do. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because when people panic, they always say yes, 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 and then when, when you know, you, you remember this when, when you, when, I remember when I was a small kid, you know, you're in trouble. You're praying to God when this is not happening, then I will do this and this and this forever, and then you know. This this threat is gone, and then you forgot it. You forgot it. You forgot it. You know what you promised. Yeah. <laughs> so when you promise to your goddess, to your wife something, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> go for you it. Better keep that promise. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. And, absolutely. and you're losing you're losing um, your your um, your credibility then if you if you say okay I'll change it I'll I'll do something and you don't so. What yeah. what should your woman rely on? Absolutely, I I, I don't remember, but I, I wrote something. Today. I don't know. I don't know. Was it online or in a book I was reading? Or I'm reading three books at the moment, and somebody wrote what kicks you out, and uh, it was a man who said, "Promises that are broken. Promises that are broken." Yeah. 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 A lack of trust. Yeah, yeah. that makes you feel insecure. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. all about trust building, trust building. Yeah, yeah. And for the men, it's about uh, you know becoming whole. Like, yes, you can promise something in a moment, and then you go through your life, and it's just your subconscious programming playing out, right? So it, things need to change beneath the surface for you to be able to live up to your promise. And that takes, you know, it takes courage, it takes self-reflection, it takes work, it may take therapy, it may take medicine, whatever. Um, one image uh, that has really helped me to understand what does a whole man look like, how does he act and think, is um, described in the book of David Data, The Way of mm. the Superior Man. Good yeah. man, good man, good books, yeah. I, I've listened to it multiple times and every time it's like gold because he makes these deep principles about the feminine masculine energy, brings them really back to the practical embodiment in the here and now. And, you know, how do you act when uh, your lady is uh, complaining or when she starts to cry out of nowhere? You know, what, what does a real man do in that situation? And that really painted a picture in my mind that helped me understand better of how to really be there for a woman. And at the same moment, you know, I keep bumping into myself, realizing that I don't always succeed in those situations. You know, sometimes a trigger goes off inside of me and I make things worse instead of better. And so yeah, that's a sign of something that I need to work on. Brings it back to personal responsibility again. But this book, David Data, The Way of the Superior Man, I, I wish they would just hand them out in every school to all the guys. You know, skip the rest of the curriculum, just do this one uh, the rest of your life. I think uh, we, we would already make some progress there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I absolutely agree with you. That's great books. Absolutely. Uh, Alex, can you, can you repeat uh, the book and the author for our audience? Yeah, it's uh, David Deida. So the spelling yeah. is D E I D A. And the title of the book is The Way of the Superior Man. Yeah, The Way of the Superior Man by David Deida. Thank you so much. So, gentlemen, wherever you're viewing or listening to the show, uh, you know, the topic is a little bit hypothetical. Yes, on a macro way. Yes, of course. But on a micro level, it happens every day that the girl or the lady leaves the house or leaves the relationship. So 
that's the, where we want to where we go in this discussion is be prepared and and don't let it don't, don't don't let it end like this so not being prepared to the scenario so do it differently do it differently before it's too late you know so, uh, sometimes we regret things uh but maybe it's a better strategy not to regret things but because you didn't do it yeah so really work on yourself and, and, and it's always it doesn't matter what <laughs> what topic we're discussing it always starts with ourselves working on ourselves so we cannot we only can make it better this planet our relationship the company whatever we're doing when we start with our with ourselves uh, I know that you're both an expert on that uh, Christian and Alex can, can can we speak a little bit about working on ourselves how to start on that Sure. So that we attract women or business or friends or whatever. Well, I Christian. think first, first um, to make it a little easier for the guys out there, um, there's one good thing. Well, there's a lot of good things to women, but one good thing is they have these very, very fine antennas. Um, and when when a woman feels a man is is trying to work. He's 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 going for it. Maybe he not he's he's not succeeding right now or or in the first few steps, but he's really he's wanting. He's going for it. They'll 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 see that, and they were um they ah, well they see. You mean it. They're appreciating the effort? And they appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. And this is something very good for us men because we we're kind of as I experiences with as I experience it with with men in my uh in my work we're kind of slow progressors on that in the first steps and then as we see ah, okay this is the way it works this is how it feels it's getting better and better i'm getting power more powerful i'm i'm starting to shine then we're um we're taking up speed so this is very cool to do it the first the first time i started working on myself like i'm 48 it was in my early 30s, I would say, like 28 to 32. It felt like rock stones rolling around. It was really heavy. I didn't understand what was going on. I was feeling strange, weird feelings, stuff like that. Um, I didn't know what to go, how, how to communicate my emotions, stuff like that. It was really uh, intense time. And I, I was, and I'm still thankful for, for the man that stood beside me. They took me by the hand and say, okay, guy, this is okay what you're doing. This is maybe it feels strange, but you're on the right track. And and they were there. They, they were there like like um a father or a grandfather or a mentor or something like that. And this was really, really helpful. So the conclusion of that, um, if you make the decisions, the decision to to work on yourself, hey, just Google it. There are so many good guys out there helping men. To grow, to shine, to develop. So pick one, and if you feel good with this guy, stuck to this one until you feel like, okay, this is what I can learn from this guy, and then the next will show up. It's just the natural flow, and then you continue. This is like what I can say to that. I see Alex is not yeah. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's really good. That's really good. Find something that resonates, find something, someone that excites you, find someone that feels like speaking truth because it needs to be fun, you know, it's a lifelong journey. So don't force it because you, you tell yourself, I need to listen to this person. But if you're not feeling it, there's a thousand others out there. Yeah. And there are so many inspirational men. I mean, Roland, when, when we talk, you inspired me so, so often and that's that's great I, I learn like in every communication we have so this is great and this is why i'm here because it connects it resonates just like you said alex absolutely that's why I, i'm always saying men need men to talk and 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 and, and realize hey i'm not a, i'm not alone with my thoughts or my anxieties or my my questions my doubting it's just opening up and talking to other men and, and, and becoming a better version and learning from each other and connecting and, and sharing the experience, the good ones and the bad ones. So the good ones that we, we that we share them and the bad ones that we don't make the same mistake a second time. Yeah, it's a, as long as we do it once, it's it's a learning, it's a feedback. When we do it twice or three times, maybe we should rethink a, a little bit our acting <laughs> and behaving. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. 
So, guys, uh, next week is Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is next week. And so my, my shout out to the, our audience is, gentlemen, it's not only next week. Hopefully, you celebrate your Valentine's Day with your beloved friend 365 times a year. It's not just, it's just the one day. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you bring a present. It's not about bringing gifts, you know, every day, but it's about taking care and, 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 and enjoying the time together with the beloved ones. So you're not worrying about that. She makes a decision one day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> please, please, please. It's a good topic because next week is Valentine's Day and some, some people will say, okay, it's well and then, yes, and then what's the rest of the year? Okay, what's the rest of the year? The most important days are the other days. It's not the well and then days. It's the other 364 days. That's what they make the relationship, you know, not the well and then day again. It's a good approach. Maybe, maybe it's a good start for you guys. Maybe it's a good start. Yes. <laughs> but think about all the other days too, okay? Because if not you, maybe somebody else is jumping in. Okay, so don't don't miss the train. The train is leaving the station. Don't miss the train, guys. <laughs> By the way, gentlemen, a last question because we end up in three minutes. Uh, Valentine days. What are your thoughts about Valentine days? As you said, it's every time should be Valentine's Day. Okay. So. You should be with your women. You should be good connected. You should be honest to yourself, to 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 your uh, to your wife, of course, or girlfriend. Just be open, like twenty four seven. So Valentine should not be. It can be okay, like like a like a party day for partying your your uh, connection or something. But um, the 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 main line should be you always should really see and feel um, your your partner. And be willing to grow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I love it. Yeah. I, I also think Valentine's Day should be a reminder. Should be a reminder. Maybe you from, you missed it the last days or weeks. Should be a reminder every day. Yeah. Alex, what are your thoughts about Valentine's Day? Yeah, I I agree with what you guys say. It should be every day. But on the other hand, uh, it's good to have a reminder and it's good to have an invitation to do something special together, you know, to deepen the relationship further, create a nice experience for you to uh, maybe a ritual or see it as an invitation to really make your love more explicit in certain ways. It can be through a gift, can be through a, even a handwritten letter, it can be through a walk in nature. Um, so I think that's really an extra benefit, let's say, an open invitation to celebrate the love that you share. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Okay, gentlemen, we're coming to an end. Thanks a lot. Please stay uh, backstage for a short communication. And to our audience here, viewers, hope you enjoyed the show. Please, if you missed it or you, you jumped in later, you, the recording is on bonfiretalks.com. When you go on episode, you will see all the others, more than 30 episodes. We're almost a year here on USA Global TV Radio with the show. If you have any comments or if you have a topic, maybe you have a topic and said, hey, I want, I, I didn't see this topic on, on, the epi on, on the episode list. Maybe bring it on, bring it on. Please write to us. We are more than open to discuss with you. Maybe you want to join us on one of the shows. Let us know. You're more than welcome. Thanks a lot for viewing us wherever you're viewing us, for listening us wherever you're listening us. Stay tuned. And remember, it's not only next week, well, and this is. Guys, thank you so much. You talk backstage. Bye-bye. And see you at the next Wild at Heart show, Real Authentic Uncut, on USA Global TV and Radio next week. Next Wednesday, same time, same station. Thanks and bye-bye. Thanks, Roland. Thanks, Alex.